Here, my mother has foundation powder, everything on. I have set her face and just ready for the face. It's your girl, Beauty by LQM. Welcome to my YouTube channels, my returnees and my newbies. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I'm taking you through my skincare foundation powder routine. Watch while we do this. I started off by cleaning her face with micellar water. This product is a must have in your kit. Then I set her face with a certain spray. This is to help me lock up the moist on her skin. Drying it up and I'm going in with my all time favorite moisturizer to keep her skin hydrated all through the day. I'm going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte for foundation primer this is to bridge the gap between her skin and uh, the foundation and to keep it matte all day too so i'm going in with my foundation in nas nas in Na taho and uh, mac marinalizer studio fix foundation in nc45 So when I start my foundation, I start in bit parts and done with that particular part before I could move to the other side. I'm not always in a hurry. Yes, my hand is moving. I only fast forward it just to shorten the video. Going in with my two favorite Elegant Concealer and Color Pop Concealer. I'll drop their numbers below in the subscription box. So placement is very important. You don't want to spread the product all over the face. And when you're blending in, this is what I do. I start from the outer corner before moving it inside. And I do it gently, not so much in a hurry. But you also have to be fast, you understand. Start so doing this, I usually go in with a shade lighter. I don't like going with two or three shade lighter. It takes a lot of time to blend. So why stress myself? Going in with my autumn favorite, also black opal foundation. I love using this product for contouring. Now it's time to set under her eyes. First thing I do is to go in with a pressed powder. This is to help keep the skin smooth and eliminate any possible flashback. All right, so you're you don't want to be in a hurry, like I always say, but you also want to be fast with it so done with that i'm going to win with her exact foundation powder shade i mean to set all over her face before going in with the contouring product i want to use to set the contoured area so you can see it's blended perfectly into her skin her skin shade it's her perfect skin shade that's milani compact powder in medium and i'm also going in with a setting powder so this just to snatch underneath her eyes her nose area her forehead and her chin so just to snatch it And I don't just leave it for a very long time. Once I apply it, I go in with my contoured powder. Then afterwards, I dust it off. So basically, makeup for me is just to lighten up, enhance, you know, not to recreate. So though makeup is an art, you know, it all depends on the particular art you're going on. This is beauty makeup and I'm getting her ready for a traditional wedding. So you don't want her not to be recognized by her husband and the husband family to be. You know what that means? So I like keeping it simple. If I want to go all the way around, yes, for my editorial, I can always do that to recreate it. Recreating. So I'm just snatching her nose. I'm using the... Milani compact powder in warm. It's just a shade light, a shade darker. So I'm just using it to snatch her nose because I like it soft. So 
so just dusting off the setting powder like i said um i don't just leave it for too long it's all depending on the mood i am in seriously So before I went in with the next powder, I what I actually did here was uh, when I was done dusting this off, I used my setting powder, setting spray, just to set her face together. Then afterwards, I went in with her exact powder shade again on her face. So I'm um, contouring her face. I'm using my Mac Mineralize Skin Finish in um deep dark so i'm just using it to add contrast to her face more like the area i contoured i'm applying in those areas so you can see it's still soft too because that's the look i'm going for and this is what we have yay thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share if you enjoyed this